six. And they lead the league in turnover margin. And they're right at that nine. Here's a steal by St. Louis and away to Martinez. Suarez got back defensively. Great hustle by Suarez. And Mitchell will send it back the other way. Jamison driving and just throws that one off and lucky to draw the foul. And Smith right here. Jamison gets in deep. Got the bump. And Rebecca Tillett, the head coach of St. Louis, is all over the official circuit. She thought it was the same thing at the other end. She's got to be careful. She's going to be tossed, and that's it. She got two. Got her money's worth, so she's done for the night. Not going to understand the frustration because it sure looked like Martinez going in there may have gotten some contact from Suarez, but so she's going to have to leave this one with 940 to go in the fourth quarter and it's been that kind of night just frustrating and it's got to be tough she's as we'll watch this here after the steal suarez i mean that's a bump that's she's got an argument if you go back and then show the smith layup at the other side it's the same contact she's not wrong so if you feel for her because she's back here with her team she's coached the high school locally forest park and osborne park so she's probably got you know friends and family in the stands. It's been a frustrating night since day one, or the jump of this one, because look at the fouls. And I'm not saying they weren't fouls, but she's had a lot of whistles go against her team tonight. So good for her for sticking up her team, because you know what? She was right. Well, last year led the lead, led the team to the first ever Atlantic 10 Conference Tournament Championship and NCAA Tournament berth. Billikens had a struggle to begin the year. They had a 7-16 record a year ago, then went on a tear in February. So when it got cold, they got hot. They won seven wins against one loss to finish in fourth place in the conference with a 10-6 record in a 10 play a year ago and then they marched their way to a tournament championship and it's going to be six free throws now for the patriots two on the foul of jameson going in and then four for the technical fouls on tillett jameson has hit the first two and bill this is something that you don't see very often, if at all, six consecutive free throws. Yeah, no, no, not at all. And again, maybe it, it, it part of it is because I can remember Tillett being here as a head coach at Forest Park, at Osborne Park, and she was an excellent coach. You feel for because if you've been in that situation on the sideline where you feel like, again, the game was clearly out of hand at this point, but you feel like you haven't been able to get a whistle all night long, and then an obvious one out in the open floor doesn't go your way. You go 94 feet, literally 10 seconds, not even 10 seconds after it just happened to your kid and you don't get the call. I mean, you're just at the boiling point. Well, Bill, you mentioned her high school coaching career with a record of 166 and 72 over a 10 year tenure. Yeah, she had, again, some really, really good teams at that time period. Again, at Osborne Park, Forest Park, 